Hey guys, I am with my ho Yasmin. Hey. Hey. <laughs> she wanted to wave and I cut her off. There we go. And today we're talking about pet peeves. Mm -hmm. We got a lot. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> but we cut them down, so here we go. Number one. When people steal your food, it's like, I bought that, that's mine. Now yours. That, 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 that's my food. You stole my burger. <laughs> <laughs> no, you start cooking it, and then I asked if I could have it. You buff it? You said yes. <laughs> okay. I said I would replace it. <laughs> Number two. Right. Wash your hands. <laughs> Jeez, when people don't wash their hands, right? You go to the bathroom, you pee, you fiddle your bits, okay? Wash your hands. You eat with these things. You touch other people's food with these things, even though you shouldn't, okay? <laughs> so I do wash my hands. You, yeah, I know. I was talking about your stealing food thing. Just don't <laughs> wash your hands. You touch things with these, like you're on people's phones and then you're pee and everything's on their phone. Just wash them. It takes like, what, a minute? Like, it's soap. Don't just wash them with the water. <laughs> Number three. When people say your opinions are wrong or they ask for your opinion, like, oh my god, he cheated on me, what should I do? And you're just kind of like, dump him. They're like, nah, I'm gonna just go have sex with them. Your opinion's wrong. Fuck you! <laughs> Four. When people chew with their mouth open, it's the worst when you're eating with them. So when you're eating, you're just seeing their chewed up food. So, yeah, because who doesn't find that attractive? Like, is that how you felt when I was eating the burger? <laughs> I wanted my fucking burger. <laughs> Five! Right. <laughs> this is serious. <laughs> it is the most serious topic ever, right? When you have ketchup <laughs> and you did not close the lid properly and then next time when you go to open it and it's got like ketchup jizz right all <laughs> over it dried ketchup jizz just no clean it either wipe it and close it properly when you hear the click you're done so ketchup jizz ketchup jizz what the fuck that's what something someone would call their period well it comes out of a <laughs> number six <laughs> <laughs> okay right you know how you've got like your mattress and your duvet and your pillows, right? You're supposed to have sheets and mattress covers over them. And duvet covers and pillow covers. Why do some people not ha own these? Why is it just a mattress and just a duvet? You're supposed to cover them. Because they're poor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's really unhygienic. Like, what the hell? It's like your body. Like, what if you haven't showered for like a week and now it's all your sweat and your bodiness all over the bed? What if, like, you sleep naked and then your pubes all are over it? <laughs> like, what? What if What if you're a female? And if you're a girl, you understand this, right? What if your period spills out a little? <laughs> that, ketchup you... jizz. <laughs> <laughs> there's nowhere for it to go. Your ketchup jizz is there. You need to flip the mattress, but there's only so many times you can flip it before the ketchup jizz comes back. <laughs> it's just wrong. You can only Bye flip covers. it twice. <laughs> exactly. Just... Buy covers, you not jobs. Number seven, motherfuckers. <laughs> when people copy you. When people copy you. Not just word wise. Word wise? But also how you look. I'm dying my Different hair. Different hairs. I'm dying my hair blue neck tomorrow. I'm dying my green. Die. <laughs> Drug bleach. <laughs> I'm joking, please stay alive. Number eight. Right, okay, what the fuck? <laughs> right, okay, mine's is about relationships. I love you. Like, <laughs> die, okay? Just okay. little things, like, stupid things. Like, you know when you go to a party and then there's that couple, it's supposed to be everyone, you know, having a good time and partying and then there's just this couple in the corner, like... Don't let go of me. Don't ever let go. I love you so much. I'd die without you. And then, like... After two weeks, and there's always that couple that are like, two weeks later, it's like, I love you, and you're just sitting there like, 
Happy two week relationship. <laughs> happy two week. Happy seven day anniversary. Happy eight day anniversary. Happy seven hundred and two a day anniversary. Who the fuck does days? <laughs> Get your priorities in order, children. Nine. Okay, boys. If you're gonna go pee, wipe the lid so that way when I go to do my business, right, I do feel your wet leftover pee on the lid it is disgusting it's like you sit down and just germs are having a party on your butt no i don't want that all right and also the lid i cannot tell you how many times i have shouted it's at my sister. seat you boob okay the seat whatever it's still annoying it's like i can't tell you how many times i've argued at my sister's boyfriend well i say argued i mean i verbally abused him but I don't want to wake up, stumble to the toilet, to find that I fall down the toilet. Okay, I don't go to learn how to swim. I go to probably take a shit or piss. Okay, just... Ten. Okay. Mine's is drunk people, but I'm not... I'm just going to generalise it, not specifics, okay? Right, okay, you're out, and then there's always that person like, Oh yeah, I can drink so well. They take one shot of vodka, and they're absolutely like, passed out on the bed, white in everywhere. It's like, sitting there, and they're the white in, they're passed out, and then they can't hold their head up. It's just, oh yeah, I drink all the time. What the fuck? What are you drinking? Shh. And don't say drink bleach. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> you know me far too well. Yeah, and then there's those drunk people that are just like, Oh my god, that's party. By party, they mean... Twerk. No, find someone to shag. Let's have sex. Number eleven. Two faced people. It's like they'll be the, they'll be your friend. Okay? They'll be like, Hi! Oh my god, I've seen you such a long time. You're amazing. I love you, mama. Then behind your bed you go, Did you hear that bitch? Like like she does she doesn't shut up. She It's like just stop. If you don't like the person just go up to her and go, I hate you. I, I just, I don't like your face. What if they're pretty? Well, then just say that you hate their personality. Okay. Anyway, just saying I hate Kathy. Shh. I love you, Aspen. Oh, I love you too. Number 12. Glue. Ooh. Mine's is when people act stupid to look cool. Like, it doesn't even make sense. Oh my god. What's like, oh my that? god. How do you spell that word again? Oh my god, you're so smart. <laughs> That's a fork. Genuinely, what happened? I was sitting with a girl and a group of guys, obviously, she liked one of them. Said, oh my god, wait, what's this called again? I forgot. It's called a fork. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm done. I'm done. She was literally brain dead. Zombies will not be after her. Done. 13. When people just stare at you, like, you don't even know the people, but like, you're sitting on the bus, minding your own business, and for some reason you just see people that are just kind of sitting over there like... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to like my face. If you don't like it, don't stare at it. <laughs> it's worse when they try to lick your face. Yeah, the stranger try to lick your face? <laughs> no, but one day now. <laughs> That was so hot. <laughs> I was the lesbian there. I turned Kathy gay. Number 14. Because you're worth it. Okay, this is one of the biggest ones for me, okay? You know when you're sitting with someone, right? And you're spending time with them. And they sit there. On their phone or their iPad. And they're just sitting going away. Wait, what'd you say? Oh, right, okay. And you're just like, I asked you a question. And like, Basically what they're saying is, you're not worth their time. They're too busy checking Facebook or talking to someone better. And that annoys me. And it's worse. You know when you're... Like, what if you make them watch a movie? And I don't know if anyone else agrees with me or if I'm nuts. But if I really like a movie and I show it to you, I expect you to fucking watch it and not sit on your phone like... I'm like, are you watching it? Yeah, I am. Uh, well, I'm listening. If you've never seen it before, you need to watch it. <laughs> Why do people sit on their phones when they're with people? It makes no sense. Unless you don't like them, then that's different. I sometimes text when I'm with you, but at least I answer your questions and acknowledge your existence. I know, it, it annoys me. I don't like people on their phone near me. I'm like, excuse me, my presence is great. <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's because she's fabulous. <laughs> Fifteen. 
when you're like really angry or you're like in a hurry and you need to walk to get somewhere and people are just zombies in front of you like just walking really slow and you try and maneuver but then there's more slow people in front of them it's like a traffic jam of slow people it's like stop just you have feet pick them up and walk faster 16 right when you show someone something on your phone and you're like okay hold it and look so they hold it and they'll go okay and they hold it for a while so they go off it and they go onto your text messages and they go look through them or they'll go through your photos like look at the photo just look at the photo don't swipe left don't swipe right look at it unless i say swipe left in which case swipe left my phone there's private shit on there i mean really and then there's when you're texting and someone's looking over your shoulder like <laughs> who are you texting none of your business leave <laughs> 17 depressed child emo <laughs> oh hashtag emo life sing queen attention seekers especially the ones that are like oh my god yasmin i have mental health issues i'm going to go cut myself cool enjoy that it's like just just stop if you need like someone there for you or you want attention in any way why the fuck do you sound american i don't know <laughs> i've been told i sound american in my videos before it's really weird <laughs> Maybe I just, I want to move to America, maybe. Oh, no, you know what else annoys me? You know, if you're like, oh, I'm going somewhere, and they want you to ask, and you're just like, okay, oh, like, I'll enjoy that, and they're like, you're not going to ask where I'm going? No. No. You're probably going to go down an alley and have sex yeah. with a random hobo. If you want to go somewhere, For and you want people to know where you're going, like, all right, cool, by the way, I'm going to eat a baby. bagel. <laughs> Then go eat a baby, you know, to enjoy your life. But, um, and if you don't want people to know where you're going, like, just, alright, cool, I'm just going to head to home, I'm tired. Then go do whatever you want to do. Or I said, they'll post a photo online, like, uh, I look like such a mess. Oh, no. Nah. So everyone will be like, oh, no, you're not, you're really pretty. And she's like, no, I'm not. Kathy, I look disgusting. <laughs> 18. Children, just loud irritating children for your kids being loud shut it up i will shove it to the bus window exactly number 19 you hypocrites out there the ones that are like oh my god i hate how you're wearing that but then they'll wear it it's like these choker things oh i hate them oh Everyone my else god is they're so them, stupid but i'm gonna wear one anyway i'm gonna wear it ha 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 because you know it's not stupid anymore because i think it's cool it's like really I, mine's is cool, it has a Deathly Hallows on it. I win. Deathly Hallow fans, anyone? There should be. I'm an Ollivander's wand. She does. And then, like, the ones that are like, oh my god, I hate when people do this, it just annoys me loads. And they do it. It's like, you're a hypocrite. Like, just, just stop. Please, please! Number 20. This is a really stupid one, but it annoys me so much. When you're on a bus. Like, obviously you're going somewhere. Why do cyclists go right in front of the bus? You could go at the side. And we could go around you. But no. You have to go right in the middle. Just be happy I'm not a bus driver. <laughs> yeah. And that's it, guys. That's the ending of our pet peeves. Avada Kedavra. Whoosh.